Hey ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, you're watching Channel Hot Monkey. Almost 15 years after its release, it seems that Windows XP is still a very popular operating system. Popular, but still very outdated. Now that it's been left without any updates or support from Microsoft, there's a rather big debate happening on the internets about the safety of this operating system. The mainstream verdict goes something like this. If XP has no support, all its security holes and backdoors stay unpatched. This makes it more prone to getting infected by malicious software, which means that it is a very unsafe OS to be using. On the other hand, you will also hear a totally different argumentation that goes along the line that all the commotion on how XP is unsafe is simply mumbo jumbo orchestrated by Microsoft who only want you to switch to their newer products. According to this type of reasoning, a Windows XP backed up with a bundle of internet security utilities is as safe as any other operating system. Even here on YouTube, you can find advocates of this argumentation who claim to still be using XP as their everyday OS while having absolutely no problems with malicious software. Truth be told, there is software out there that you can use to lock down your system and make it 99% unpenetrable to malware. Why 99%? Well, because there is absolutely no system that can't be played by finding or creating a hole. That's why software updates exist in the first place. But using a combination of safety utilities that will give you this level of security will come with the cost of used up system resources. A lot of people who are truly stuck with XP because it came along with the last PC they were able to afford don't really have that high of a system configuration. So balancing things like basic multitasking and internet security might be a difficulty that they do not know how to efficiently overcome. Obviously those people who have no alternative will continue using XP as it is their only option. So what can they do? Well, whether you're using XP for those reasons or simply out of sentimentality, you still can secure it to a certain point and keep your system usability. So here are my five tips. Get a good antivirus program. This is an essential thing for XP users because without it, you're going to be like a sheep in a wolf pack. Since XP is an outdated OS, some antivirus companies have stopped creating software updates for it. One antivirus that many people use on a day-to-day -day basis is Avast that still provides its latest updates for its software, even for XP. Get a good firewall. Windows isn't really known for having top-of-the-class anti-malware utilities, so you know what you're dealing with if you are using an old OS like Windows XP. Downloading and installing free firewalls like Zone Alarm or Komodo Firewall will lock you down almost completely, and yes, they are available for XP even today. Even though you can't get any updates for your OS, that doesn't mean that you can't keep the programs you use up to date. This is a very important thing, especially if the program or app connects to the internet to do its thing. Malware looks for holes in all types of software, not only an OS. So keeping things like your web browser or an email client up to date might just save your life. Back up your stuff. This is something that can be a lifesaver even on a newer operating system, not to mention an old one. No matter how many lines of defense you have against malware, like we mentioned earlier, there is no system that can't be breached. If that does happen, at least you will be safe to know that your important files are stored safely somewhere else. It could be a spare hard drive, an external one, heck, it can even be a flash drive where you store your most important documents. Finally, bring your internet safety common sense to a higher level. Yeah, I know. Sometimes you can smell that a link is suspicious, but you think to yourself, app, what's gonna happen? Just leave it alone. If your firewall tells you it's harmful, you might think, how bad could it be? It's gonna be bad. Visit sites you know and trust, avoid clicking on ads and downloading stuff from third-party providers. Use common sense and you should be fine. Now, there are many security utilities and tricks that you can use in combination to keep your Windows XP safe, but by using just these five tips, you should be good in balancing safety and usability. And that would be all for me for this time. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave your questions and opinions down in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.
stay safe and stay strong.